Good day guys, once again welcome to our class calculus 2 and our topic for today is about inverse trigonometric functions. So here you can see we're in two formulas of the inverse trigonometric functions which is the integral of du, integral of du over square root of a squared minus u squared which is equal to the arc sine u over a plus c where a is greater than zero so another one sorry so another one another formula for inverse trigonometric function is du over a squared plus u squared which is equal to one over a arc tangent u over a plus c and remember that your du is the differential of your u okay you remember this always your du is the differential of your u and your u is a variable and your a is constant value okay so let's try to have this example so this will be our example for letter a if you could see it is similar in this formula you cannot interchange u minus a squared because that's another formula for other uh, functions so here in inverse trigonometric function it is always that a squared minus u squared but for your b because it is addition so you could have u squared plus a squared or a squared plus u squared okay you still have the same result but for this formula you cannot interchange your a and your u okay because that is minus so let's try the first example our first example is dx over square root of 9 minus 4x squared so first let's get the values of your a and your u okay so we know that a is a constant so your a squared is your 9 so your a is equivalent to the square root of 9 which is equal to 3 very good and your u is obviously sorry your u squared is your 4x squared and your u is equivalent to the square root of 4x squared, which gives you 2x, right? Square root of 4 is 2, square root of x squared is x. Then, again, you need to derive your u because your the, the dx or the du is the differential of your u. So, your du is derivative of 2x, that is 2dx, okay? So your dx, just transpose your 2 to du, so you'll have du over 2. Now, substitute that one, so, okay, we have small space, so let me put this one above here. Okay, so your du is 2dx and your dx will be du over 2. Okay, so now all of this substitute to your given. Okay, so that it will be like this formula. For you to easily uh, get that formula is really an inverse trigonometry function so we have integral what is our du okay so the, our given is all dx so your du is your dx so that is du over 2 okay because that is your your dx Okay, what is this dx? So what is this dx? Okay. Now, 9 is a squared. So that is the square root, right? 
a square then minus what is your u square uh, your 4x squared that is u squared now we have our 1 over 2 here so we need to put it outside the integral sign so you you have one half then what remains is your du over square root of a squared minus u squared and we know that the integral of this is equivalent to this arc sine u over a so now we have one half times what is this that is r sine u over a plus c or we have here one half we could write it like that arc sine what is our u 2x over what is our a 3 plus c okay so therefore you will have one half sine arc sine 2 over x 2x over 3 plus c or you could have the word arc sine okay you could have that one so if you could see the press is still the same, you get your u, du, then substitute it to the given, and then it will look like that formula, and then you will arrive with those answers, okay? So let me put it above, okay? Because we already used the space, so let's put it above here, sample b. So integral dy over... 9y squared plus 6y plus 5. Then let me erase this one so that we can have space to solve. Okay? So let's continue this one. So look first with the problem. Alright? So this problem needs to have factors or you need to do completing square completing square okay so this one is detailed discuss in your e notes so please look at it so here in order for us to solve this one to look like this one doesn't look like this because it has square root this one don't have so literally it will be your letter b your second formula for inverse trigonometric function so from there you will have the integral of dy so look for a value where where you because as i told you you has those variables look for those that you could have squared a perfect square or complete by using completing square so in this case you will have 3 y plus 1 square 1 square plus 4 sir how did we get the, that one to check whether this one is correct with the given so let's just try you have dy over 3y plus 1 times 3y plus 1 plus 4 diba? just check that one so you have your dy over 3y times 3y that is 9y squared 3y times 1 that plus that is 3y 1 times 3y that is 3y 1 times 1, that is 1, plus 4. So clearly, it is the same with your plus 5. The same with your given. So therefore, that is equivalent. Okay? So this is the perfect square of this 
and for this one. Okay? So uh, that's how we get it. Okay? So now, or you just re or please recall your completing square in your algebra. Okay? So next, let's try with this already. So we'll integrate that one. So let's first get our a squared. What will be our a squared? What is our a squared? That is 4. So our a will be a square root of 4, which is 2. Then our u squared is this one. 3y plus 1 squared. So our u will be the square root of 3y plus 1 squared. So obviously it cancels. So therefore, your u so therefore your u will be equal to 3y plus 1. Okay? That's your u. That is your a. That is your a squared. Okay. Now, let's continue. We're not done yet. So from that, we'll get your du because again this one is the differential of your u all right so your du will be equal to derivative of 3y plus 1 derivative of 3y that is 3 dy derivative of 1 that is 0 so therefore your dy will be equal to 3 uh sorry du over 3. so if you would see our steps from the past topics are redundant so that we'll have common ways of solving but again i emphasize that you have your own style you can use that one just follow the proper means of doing your mathematics okay so here why i'm using this so that you could clearly know where those values came from okay so next after all of this, you will have all of this, you will now substitute it to your given, which is now a given is this one. You ready? So we have over integral. What is our dy? That is du over 3. What is our 3? What is 3y plus 1? That is our u squared. Plus, what is our 4? That is our a squared. So, okay, let me rewrite it here because we have more space. We have that one later. So, I have it right written here. Okay. So, let me erase this one so that we have more space. So from here, it looks similar with your identity or with your formula. So one third, one over three is a constant. So we put it outside the integral sign. Okay, we put that one in outside the integral sign. You have du over u squared plus a squared. Okay, so you have this one. As I've told you, in the second formula, your denominator could interchange. It could be your u at first, and the second one is your a because it is addition. Bisan pa o interchange siya, it will still have the same result of the integration. So in our case, we have our u as first, and the next one is a. So still we have one third. The S multiplied by your 1 over A at tangent U over A plus C. So therefore, just substitute values. We have what is our A? That is 2. 1 over 2. So we can write, write it like that. What is our U? We have 3y plus 1 over what is our a? 2 plus c. So simplify it further. 1 over 3 times 2, that is 6, part tangent of 
3y plus 1 equal to 6. So, you could put the arctangent 3y plus 1 over 2 over 6. You could also have that result. Okay, please check. Check whether we have some errors. Okay. So while you are looking there, let me rewrite it here and let me erase that one. Okay, let me erase this so that I can put this another example. So we have another example. So look at it first. Okay. So okay, let's try. So here, obviously, this is not the same like this, so it will still be like this again. So Another means the I uh, to make it more easier for you. Sorry, there are other means for you to have an easier means to get your uh, perfect square or doing complete square. You could have this b over two square. Okay, so your B, let me write this one here. So B over 2 squared. For your B, this is your A, B, C, diba? So your B is 6 over 2 squared. So therefore, you will have 3 squared or you have 9 okay so in this case you will have therefore this one will be your value for your perfect square and this one the one you will add or the one that you will deduct okay so you will have the new form like this we have 3 here so you have z because we use variable z, that is positive plus 3, then that will be your square. Okay? So, plus, that will have your value. Ah, sorry, that is not 9. That is, you have 10 minus your 9. 10 minus 9. So, in short, if you use this one, your b divided by 2, the result of b over 2 will be this value. And when you carry your square, this will be the, the one that you will deduct on this value. Okay? So, continuing that one. So, have small space. So, let me erase this one. So continuing it here, so you have integral of bz over z plus 3 squared plus 1. So you will have new values like that. Sir, could we apply this one? Yes, we could apply as long as the form is like this. So you always get your b divided by 2. Then you already have this one. Then could carry continuous, continue it. Then the answer will be deducted with the value on the given. Next, 
check whether like what we do check whether this is really correct so we have bz over so you have 2z plus 3 right let's just check so that you, you will really agree so you have bz over z times z that is z squared z times 3 that is 3z 3, 3 times z that is still 3z plus 3 times 3 that is 9 plus 1 then obviously we are z squared plus 3 uh, sorry that is 6z plus 10. as you can see this one is just equivalent to your given okay so to make it more easier for you to get a computing square you use this one okay let's continue now let's continue go back let's get your we already have this form so we could get our u uh let's start with your a squared what is your a squared a is a constant that is one so therefore your a which is just the square root of one or equal to one and your u squared is z plus 3 squared where your u is equivalent to what is the equivalent of u that is the square root of z plus 3 squared or this take but cancel this one so you will have your u as z plus 3 so remember this one later we will substitute it then you'll get your du so your du here is equal to dz derivative z is dz derivative of 3 is 0 okay now we already have that one let's substitute so let me erase this one let's continue so we have to substitute these values going back to your given all right so we have what will, what is our dz dc is just equal to your du what is our z plus 3 that will be that will be your u but u squared so you have u squared plus 1 is because we have to use a squared we have a squared so that it would be like this one then obviously this is exactly the same as our second formula so that is 1 over a r tangent u over a plus c where a, your a is equivalent to your 1 R tangent, your u is equivalent to z plus 3 over 1 because our a is equivalent to your 1 plus z. Simplify it further, you have 1 over 1, that is 1. So R tangent, z plus 3 over 1, that is z plus 3. Okay? So, so that's the answer for this given. Okay? Now, I will give you an example. We'll have a uh, last example. I'll give you an, uh, an example that it looks like one of this, but it's actually, you cannot use either of the two. Okay? So, please look at it first. Okay? Check first. Okay. After you get this one, let me erase the whole thing. Okay. Let me erase the whole thing so that we have enough space. But again, my example, the way that we do it here is not applicable anymore with the second, with our last example. I just want you to show that even if it looks like that, doesn't always uh, it's not all the time that to solve 
using inverse trigonometric function. Okay? So, let me start to raise it. Okay, the example I'm telling you is this, integral of y dy, let's use y, so over the square root of 25 minus, let's say 16y squared, okay. Okay, so from the two, what will we use? So obviously, it looks like the first formula, the arc sign right so it's clearly looking that it's like arc sine so let's try so let's get our a squared which is 25 in your a as okay 5 because that is square root of 25 or just put it 25 the square root of that is 5 in your u is equivalent to your u squared is equivalent to 16 y squared. So therefore, your u is equivalent to square root of 16 y squared. Or you have square root of 16 that is 4. Then square root of y squared is y. So therefore, your du will be equivalent to 4 dy. My derivative of this that is 4 dy. Now, you have to get your dy is equivalent to du over 4. Now, let's try to substitute. Okay? Let's try to substitute from the given. So, you have your y. What is your dy? du over 4. Then, the square root of a squared minus u squared. Then we could move out 1 over 4 integral of y d u over square root of a squared minus u squared. Now, do you have a uh, formula, inverse trigonometric formula that looks like this? If, if there is no y, then it looks like the first one. But there is y, Therefore, it doesn't look any of the two, right? So, that's why I told you na when you derive, when you integrate something, it should be with respect to the same variable. Again, there is u here, but there is another variable, which is the y. So, we cannot continue here. So, sir, could there be another means to solve that? Yes. Actually, the means to solve this is the before topics. Okay? So, we could solve this one on your before topics. Actually, I think we will be using uh, integration of powers. So, let's have more example. It will be look like your integration of powers. Okay? So, this one, no. So let's continue. So how will we do it? So if we cannot use this one, then we could use integration of powers. We still need to let values so integration powers are in it. So actually guys, this is not included in your e -notes, I just have this to have more example to understand it today. In some of the books, I've seen this. It's, it looked like actually one of the example with the inverse trigonometric. But when I see the why, okay, so if you encounter some problem like this, so you could already know that, okay, this, this cannot be used by the 
inverse na ganun like, and you could use integration of powers here so again looks can be deceiving so let value let u we're not anymore using this one but the whole of n so you have 25 minus 16y squared and you will derive that one that is derivative of 25 is 0 so derivative of this 16 times 2 that is 32y dy okay 32y dy negative so your dy will be equal to du sorry du over negative 32 y then we will substitute it to your given so you have your y what is our dy du du over negative 32y this y okay all over the square root of square root of all over square root of this is our u so we have Simplify further, you can cancel the y and this y. So what remains is your du over negative 32 over square root of u. Then you could move outside the integral sign the 1 over negative 32. And what remains is your du over square root of u. By the way, if you have a question, it actually looks like this integral du over negative 32 times when you transpose this one it's like you have a denominator of 1 so you have 1 when you transpose it 1 1 over square root of u so when you go 1 1 over negative 32 what remains is du over square root of u so continue so you have negative 1 per negative 1 over 32 then we could use integration of power so we know that when this is equivalent to du over u raised to the power of one half and and because we will move this one from denominator to numerator it means the sign will be different so if this is positive we move it there it becomes negative if it's negative change it there that is positive because negative times negative that will be positive so because this is negative how uh, this is positive when you change that one you will multiply by negative so it becomes negative one half so you will have integral check move it up you will have u raised to the power negative one half e u okay so now you could have the power rule you have negative one over 32 square root of uh, power rule that okay. so you have u negative one half plus one over negative one half plus one so therefore we will we will have wait we will have that one plus c okay we'll check first so what will be our result yeah okay. so Therefore, we will have negative 1 over 32. U raised to 1 half is just like negative 1 half plus 2 over 2, right? Over negative 1 half plus 2 over 2. Because 2 over 2 is just equal to 1. To make it for us easier, we copy the this denominator and have a numerator the same so that we still have one so two over two, two over two so we can have one of negative one over 32 u one half plus two over two that is becomes positive one half diba ang usah wa iyo katunga mabili ang katunga over 
one half plus c. So therefore, you will have negative one over thirty two times two over one times u raised to the power one half plus c. So therefore, you have negative two over thirty two u raised to the power one half plus c. Then we know that our u is equivalent to ilaman. Our u is this one. So that is twenty five minus sixteen y squared. Y squared, right? Power of one half plus c. Okay, so just copy this one, replace your u with that u, okay, or one up, or, or it will be this one, you could have, let me rewrite it like this, negative, uh, wait. Negative equals negative 2 over 3, 32, square root of 25 minus 16y squared plus c. Because raised to the power of 1 half is just a square root, you could have this one or with the square root. Okay, so you have negative 2 over 32 square root of 25 minus y, 16y squared plus c. Okay, so again, looks could be deceiving. It may look like one of the inverse trigonometric functions, but the means of solving it is, is different formula. That's why it is very important for you to really, when you solve, you will... Uh, always have this form you return with this form so that you could identify clearly whether what formula to use okay so i think that will be all for the inverse trigonometric functions there are many examples again in our class library so please look there are many books around so please look at it do more examples and uh, see you, see you on our next session. So thank you and thank you and.